Hey guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my match preview for the Premier League match week 3. Let me remind you what is happening with the table so far. Only two teams won their two first games. Manchester City and Arsenal. So they are top of the table. Number three, we have Brentford. Number four, Tottenham Hotspurs. Five, Newcastle. Six, Leeds United. Seventh, Chelsea. Eighth, Brighton. Ninth, Aston Villa. Tenth, Nottingham Forest. Eleventh, Bournemouth. Twelve, Liverpool. Thirteen, Fulham. Fourteen, Wolves. Fifteen, Leicester City. Sixteen, Crystal Palace. 17 Southampton 18 uh, Everton 19 West Ham and 20 we have Manchester United but guess what United fans you don't have to worry about anything because if you put this table upside now down you're gonna find yourself on top of the table okay so <laughs> nothing to worry about it but it's just uh, funny and it hurt to see manchester united bottom of the table with minus five goal difference they haven't even scored a goal so far because the goal that they scored was scored by the opposition so <laughs> uh brighton player pretty much felt sorry for united and scored a goal for them Anyways, my people, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. One click, one sub, one like, and you are all set. Thank you so much for helping the channel. All right, so quickly, we're going to talk about games this weekend. Uh, and this, uh, this week, there are no games on Friday. We're going to just start on Saturday. Tottenham against Wolves. My prediction on this one is Tottenham to win this game 2-1. Uh, Antonio Conte is going to be suspended, but they are playing home and they are a very good team. 2-1 to Tottenham Hotspurs. Crystal Palace, Aston Villa. This one, Patrick Vieira been losing games. Yeah, they drew one against Liverpool. They lost the first game against Arsenal. So this time, I don't think... Is gonna accept to lose another game, so I think this one also is gonna be about 2 1 to Crystal Palace. Everton against Nottingham Forest. This is a must win game for Frank Lampard. The pressure is already on, he already lost the two first games. Now it's time for him to start winning games at home in front of their fans. They got some very good signings, even though. Anthony Gordon want to leave, but I don't think that is going to be a distraction for them. I think uh, Everton and Frank Lampard are going to win 2-0. The next game is going to be Fulham and Bradford. Wow, what a game that is going to be. Fulham, Bradford. I think it's going to be a draw. Two good teams, I have to be honest. And uh, we don't even know if William actually is going to be registered on time to play against Bradford. But I think that this one is going to be 2-2 draw at the end. Next game we're going to discuss is going to be uh, Leicester City against Southampton. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. And that one we don't even know if uh, Wesley Fofana is going to be there. So, uh, I feel another draw, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, Southampton are not doing good this uh, beginning of the season. Leicester City also are uh, like so-so. So, I see this game like 1-1 one, one at the end. Yeah, that, uh, that's where it is. So, the last game on Saturday is going to be between Bournemouth and Arsenal. Mm. Arsenal are flying like eagles. They know if they win this game... They're going to be on top of the table until City plays 
they are game so interesting but i think it's gonna be one one at the end if it's, it's gonna be a draw all right so let's now move to the games on sun I think Manchester City are gonna just edge it like at the end 2-1 for Manchester City but Newcastle I'm not gonna be surprised if they can fight and get a draw here but I think City are gonna be too strong for Newcastle United um, all right so the last game of uh, match day three or match week three is gonna be between Manchester United and Liverpool. Oh my goodness. That one, I'm going to make even another video to give more details about it. But this one, listen, you can call me crazy or whatever you want because Manchester United are poor. But Liverpool also are poor. Remember, they haven't won a game of football so far. They drew the first two games. Manchester United lost both games and uh, form goes out of the window um united are playing home it's gonna be some protest outside the players are gonna be fired up they're gonna try to win at home they don't want to be um humiliated every single season this game i am telling you right now united to win it 2-1 or it's gonna be a draw at the end i don't see united losing this game by the time i am recording this video they are advancing very strongly to get casamiro i'm not sure he's gonna be registered on time to play on monday or i don't think he's gonna be much fit or he's gonna understand tactics immediately to play on monday but without casamiro i think they can still do it 2-1 to manchester united and you can call me crazy that is gonna be the biggest game <laughs> because the united have nothing to lose anymore because they lost everything so they have to go for it the last game they oh my goodness in the last few games look at this right it's all most of yeah it's all liverpool look at that only one time that they drew they've been losing a lot I don't think that they're gonna accept it anymore we're gonna make another video to give more details about this game leave your comment let me know uh, your score predictions for the weekend god bless you and i will see you next time